strength comes from experience. That's true on any. Advance by the gauntlet left. Uh, before using follow ball, select mission friend want guidance for. Follow ball is super convenient, no on treasure, but also total junk if no mission is selected. Oh, and follow balls sometimes get lost, so try to go easy on follow ball. You're pretty smart for the most part. Okay, main mission, mission, set navigation. Interesting. So besides, like, um, seeing a dot on the map, I guess it also shows you which way to take. Maybe? I don't know. I don't see a follow ball. Actually, let's check out that uh, item we got. I don't know if she can weird. Yeah, advanced survival. Oh, it's like fancy too. It's a, like a bionic arm. Wow, that's a lot of stats. Total range attack, plus 15. Okay. This probably goes with the pants, right? Yeah, just need to find the rest. Okay, but the mission we have to turn in is back at the... Uh, at the base. I don't know if I can get there. Oh yeah, I can just teleport home. Let's do that. Using the gamepad. Uh, it's... Where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. Damn. Losing Nelson's team is a real blow. But the fact we're not the only visitors on this rock is even worse. They made it clear they want all humans dead. For all we know, they may be related to the forces that destroyed Earth and followed us here. Wonderful. I'll report this to Secretary Nagi. See if we can't bolster our defenses. <laughs> He's still dancing. Just one last thing. What the bloody hell is this dancing turnip doing here? He's actually a potato. T Tatsu not turnip or potato. For last time, Tatsu is not food. Now, on behalf of Planet Lyra, Tatsu welcome all Earth people and offer a friendly treaty of friendship. Um, yeah. Right. Anyway, we were thinking he could be a good source of general intel about the planet. Exactly how useful that'll be remains to be seen. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Friend's totally safe now that Tatsu is in town. Tatsu, watch over and protect friends. Especially weak, <laughs> pathetic Lindley with her thin, bony wings. You mean my arms? Look who's talking. And who said anything about you coming with us? You can stay here, you greedy, annoying little cabbage. I'm sure there's a salad here that could use you. <laughs> Tatsu, stay here! F friends would leave Tatsu behind? It's for the best. You said yourself your people are endangered, and the Xenos that captured you might still be out there. You'll be safest here in the city. Mm, agreed. Y y Tatsu got a beat! Friends will want Tatsu along. Friends need Tatsu along. How so? What? Well, that... Th that, of course. This planet have many helpful Nopon that Tatsu can talk to. Other Nopon can share information for friends. Hmm, that might be useful. That right, that right. Most Nopon... Not <laughs> that right. Tatsu. Nopon can be shy. Nopon can be difficult. Most Nopon never trust friends, or even talk to friends. But Tatsu? Nopon love Tatsu. The Tatsu use smooth talk and winning personality to get friends good info. Hmm, the tater tot has a point. Uh-huh, more like an ulterior motive if you ask me. Tatsu perish the thought. Tatsu intentions are pure, Linley. Pure as snow. Linley intimidated by Tatsu's strength and smarts, but do not worry, Tatsu is true friend. Strength and smarts, huh? That's really not what I'm worried about here. All right, then it's settled. Small Fry here will accompany you three out in the field. After all, 
we can use all the info we can get. Seriously? There's so many names for him. This thing? You're the ones who picked him up. Besides, would you really want to leave him with another team? Maybe not. Unless we were invited to the meal, I mean. <laughs> See? Already getting along like peas and carrots. He can be your charge, Liam. Oh, come on, Commander! That's not funny! I've got my hands full out there! This is so unfair. Back me up here, would you, Elma? I'm sure Elma has no objections. Right. As you say, Commander. Done and done. Welcome to Blade, Tater. We'll be counting on you. Yes, sir! And it's a Datsun. Oh, one thing Tatsu forgot to mention. Nopon are pacifists, so friends need to defend Tatsu, keep extra super safe in any battle. Tatsu Great! VIP diplomat, after all. Hmm, why am I not surprised? So much for him watching over and protecting us. <sighs> Maybe we can dance to distract all the enemies. Mission complete. What do you get? 20,000 credits, 100 XP points, storage bro. Not bad. Oh, now it says 55%. Still not quite sure what it's for. So, Rook, feel like you're starting to get the hang of things? Uh, sure. Of course you are. You've taken to it like a fish to water, just like Alma and the Commander said you would. Just the same, let's review the key points, and I can fill in some extra details. Blade's top priority right now is to secure missing pieces of the life hold. You remember that much. Countless people are frozen in the life hold. It's the key to restoring humanity. Up until we ran into the prone, our biggest concern was that wild indigents would stumble on the life hold and damage it somehow. But now there's a more pressing threat. Intelligent alien races who are intentionally trying to destroy us. So, our search has new urgency. We need to find and retrieve all of the life hold ASAP. And the best way to do that is by expanding the reach of Frontier Nav. The more probes we can install, the wider we can scan, and the faster we can find bits of the life hold. So our primary focus going forward should be to travel around Mira installing data probes. As many as we can, as fast as we can. I can't stress enough how important this is. You still with me? Sounds good. Good. Then let's move on to the other pressing threat that Blade has to deal with. Hostile indigens. There's no real delicate way to put this. Any wildlife that poses a clear threat must be eliminated. The life hold is our future, but we can't ignore the present. We still have our duty to keep New LA safe. And sometimes that duty requires enacting coordinated strikes to solve problems before they can do real harm. We are the newcomers here, it's true. And they're usually just out to defend their territory. But sometimes it really is them or us. And we have to make sure it's us. Don't get me wrong. It's not like we run out there and light up anything that moves. Only Blade HQ can choose targets. And they tend to keep them strictly to creatures that pose a significant threat to our survival. In order to contribute to this cause, operatives are asked to form into squads to take on special missions. 
These squad missions, as we call them, don't get posted to mission control like your other more typical assignments. Rather, HQ tries to online stuff. directly to all of us at the same time. <laughs> Basically, they want as many people to know about them ASAP so they can be taken care of ASAP. I'm sure you can imagine that these missions aren't your run of the mill little fetch quests. It's not the kind of stuff just one or two blades could handle on their own. That's why squads can have as many as 32 members. And it's why we ask members to sign up to a squad beforehand. We can't have blades playing musical chairs whenever this kind of emergency hits us. But just remember, squad missions are not mandatory. You don't have to drop everything you're doing just to take one off. HQ has no way of knowing what every blade is up to when these missions arise. If you're busy with something else, they'll understand. They need to trust our collective judgment with these things. Well, so far, so good. And I think hmm. that about covers the basics, right? Yeah, I think people can like invite other people to join these like missions. Install data probes to expand frontier now. Take on squad missions when you can to keep us safe. Got all that? And I guess like once in a while we probably receive like a request and we can accept or decline it. Good. We're counting on you. And briefing adjourned. Thank God. All right, well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Yeah, let's call it a night. Oh, Tatsu's so excited to sleep in real bed. Lily can show Tatsu to his room now. Oh, your room is right over there. Oh, it's the perfect size for Tatsu. Wait, what? Tatsu know what that is. That refrigerator eater. We'll go in there to cool off. <laughs> I guess you are smarter than you look. Well, Tatsu not want to brag, but uh, wait a minute. Tatsu see what Lily did there. What a silly little guy. What if that percentage is like the energy left in this base or something like that? Must be pretty important. Alas, your blade adventure begins. Main story missions can be undertaken via the blade barracks, but remember that they come with specific requirements like level and survey rate. Good luck, Rook. Uh, we're counting on you to find the Lifehold Core. Good job on your mission. Uh, two new features are now available. The first is Blade Reports, which allow Blade operators to interact and share info. Use this info uh, feature to uh, coordinate missions, give advice, or even shower me with affection if you so desire. Okay, weird. Next up is the Blade Scout feature. This allows a Blade operator from another team to aid you for a limited time. Simply access the Blade Scout console anytime you need an extra hand. Well, look at that. Now uh, all the blade services are at your disposal. Editing your greetings. Uh, okay, so I have a greeting when I join players and I get editors, classes and skills. Once you hit class rank 10, you might want to think about changing classes. Moving from Drifter to a higher class will allow you to use skills. Oh, and remember you can change classes anytime, so don't be afraid to try something new. Organizing a party. You're Blade now. That implies great responsibilities, but also great freedom. And though some assignments require specific party members who you take on your travels, uh, it's generally up to you. Call on Lynn or myself anytime you like. We'll be in the barracks. Oh, custom greeting, yeah. Greetings enabled. Sharing. Sure, I'll just <laughs> leave it on default. For those who want an immersive single-player experience, life holds squads, conquest squads. 
want to focus on multiplayer play. For those who want to play with friends. Oh, that's kind of cool. I think a friend wants to get the game too. Maybe I have to convince them to, to do so, so we can play some missions together. Hello Clark, how's it going? Life hold squads, join the squad? Uh, no. Probably should check that out later. Oh, do I have to do it right now? Oh, I see. Uh, immersive single player experience. I don't know, I wanna kinda do all of it, really. Join the squad, single player experience for now, maybe. Maybe we can just change it any time. I don't know. Squad joined. Oh, when I was playing 2070? Nice. Well, welcome back then. It's been a while, I guess. I haven't streamed for uh, for the last few weeks. Kind of took a break. Um, okay, Elma class, full metal Jaguar. Character bio. Sheer Trooper, okay. Oh, that's a new person. Interceptor. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we can choose a lot of new characters now. Alright, previous save? Yes. Yeah, this probably like kind of opened uh, um, the multiplayer a lot. Jeez. So at the bottom, squat, squat mission, we have to kill 15 of something and 12 of something else, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Squad select, so yeah, you can change it, right? Yeah, okay. Player list, is that all the active players in my, in my area? Oh yeah, look at that. Whee. I am the lowest. <laughs> Level 8. It says rank 10. Not sure how this... Oh, this is for... Uh, I don't know. Not quite sure what the, the the rank is for yet. Wow, lots of things opened up, I guess. I don't know if you actually see people run around. Oh. I guess they're just standing here. I think those are like the players, right? All level 8 though. No, those are... I think those are NPCs. I don't know. They're all level 8. Hey, nice work. S invite him to join. Oh no, those are actual players. Okay. It's a class rank? Oh. Not sure exactly what it like affects though. Oh, so that class, the... what is it? What class do I have? I forgot. Drifter? That has like level 10 now I guess then. Oh, so wait, can I change at a class level then, or at a, like, at my actual level? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I see. Now that this is rank 10, I can choose a different one. Aha. Uh -huh. Choose this route if you want to go in guns blazing. Mixes offensive and defensive arts and provides HP and melee attack bonuses. Well balanced and suited for beginners. Choose this if you want to rank up damage. Focus on skillful application of damage buffs and provides bonuses to melee accuracy, range accuracy and evasion. And this one is, uh, provides support from afar, offers many ranged arts and bonuses, okay. So this is ray gun and knives, dual guns and dual swords, and assault, rifle and longsword. I kind of like the, uh, the dual blade idea. I, I like dual swords in, yeah, in uh, games. So, I don't know, might be interesting. Then we can go down a different route here, sniper rifle, ooh. Ray gun, but ray gun sounds pretty fun too. <laughs> and oh, psycho launches and a photon saber. So range attacks, Gatling guns and shield. Oh, you can do all the classes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and then you get an entirely different skill set too. 
Uh, damage from behind, critical power tier, boost critical chance, boost evasion, weapon damage. Hmm. Well, this is what Elma has, I guess. I do have a long sword. Maybe I should try out this one. If I like choose a striker now, can I just switch back to commando anytime? Like, can you choose between like, like vertically between those things, or do you have to get rank ten every time? I'm guessing you can probably switch them anytime, huh? Oh, this one has only four skills. I'm still not quite sure what the TP is. Is that like a buff? Any classes you've unlocked, you can switch to. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's switch to that one now. Rank zero. Yeah, and then I can go here. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Skills. So now we have some. One slot. But we have to unlock this. Got a gear. I think I had a long sword. Uh, oh, I already am using it. Oh, I think I might have. Maybe I gave it to um, Elma. I know she unequips stuff when. Oh, there was this one, I think. Yeah. Oh, level 13. Right. It's gonna take a while. Oh, those are better. Huh. I need like a chess piece that fits uh, this those pants here. Those. The different field skills, apparently the most important one to level first is mechanical, because not only does it let you open those mechanical things, but it also determines where you can place probes. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, field skills right now is all level 1 for me. I don't know if I can change that yet. Is that also in here, maybe? Uh... Not quite sure. Arts. Oh yeah, I could upgrade those. I probably have to level them up too, right? Because they're all level 1 again. Oh no, they're level 2. 1, 2, 1. Hmm. I just have to try them out a little bit. Oops. Is there anything new here? Squad missions. Level 6. Sync level 16. I'm guessing everyone gets to that level when you play it. Like you get, uh, your level increases to level 16. But a mission key levels up your field skills somehow, but I don't know how it works. Oh, okay. The mission cures. Okay, I'll have to go check that out. Nemesis. Oh, those are the big guys. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just leave this here for now. This is the co op stuff, I'm guessing. Required members. Oh no, it's a aff affinity mission. Level conditions not met, okay. You might have unlocked now. This is the farthest you've seen in this game? Oh, okay. So, I guess you don't have it. Did you uh, watch it on streams too? Need help with anything? 
If you don't object to my presence, I'd be happy to join you for a while. Of course, this is just a personal request, not an order as your team leader. Don't feel obliged. Okay, so we can... I'm honored to serve your team. Yeah, I'll just take her with me again. Still takes a while too. Wait, did I... Get her? No, I think I accidentally cancelled. Need help with anything? Watch some streams, I see. Stay sharp. There we go. Yeah, I think I pressed uh, cancel there. This is just a house. Uh, I'll take Lin again too. Let's head out. Just a default team for a while. Segment Recon complete? What? Oh, Recon. I don't know what's going on. Uh, where did that guy go? The, the potato. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's just... Oh, he follows her. Oh, that's useful. I thought I might have to put him into a team too, but I guess not. The Master Sniper joins up. Chapter 2 or something, I see. Uh, let's go outside. Hello. There we go. Sometimes I'll like run past it or something. Uh, folks are running around grabbing crystals, trying not to get slaughtered by high-level indigents and doing side quests. <laughs> Sounds about right. I do have a ton of side quests still, I'm just not entirely sure where to do them yet. Um, if I like select them, there wasn't anything on the map. So just kind of focus on the main one for now. There's probably a lot of other ones available now as well. Hey. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, there are. Holy crap. But see, like, some of these are, like, crazy difficult, I guess. Uh, gathering stuff. Jeez, so much. Why is that a star? Like, one of the stars is bigger, I mean. Go to the barracks briefing room for the details. Don't forget, uh, don't go forgetting on me. Hmm. I'm gonna come back then a bit. Yeah, yeah, I, I did accept like a ton, and um, I did set uh, max sum as like, like a set navigation down there, but I still wouldn't, wasn't like able to find it on the map. Like this one, for example, the rabbit research. Uh, we're looking to conduct further research into the reproductive patterns of the local wildlife. Please bring us some ZZ rabbits for research. So even if I mark this, um, and I go on the map on my gamepad, there's nothing here that indicates where those guys would be. Yeah. So I'm not sure. I guess I have to like look around. Uh, who was next to the mission console? She had a oh yeah oh, yeah yeah you're right. Almost missed her. Hello C, seems you're already uh, well on your way to be making a name for yourself. I've been hearing stories around Blade headquarters. One day you're outgunning hostile Xenos. Uh, the next you're adopting strange walking uh, deliciousies, I guess. Oh, but I didn't stop you just to catch up. Commander Vandam asked me to brief you the next time I saw you. Are you familiar with the blade levels? Uh, not really. Oh good, glad I didn't prepare the speech for nothing. 
New recruits are assigned a blade level of 1. They are just beginning after all. Uh, as they continue to clear missions, that level will slowly go up. You can think of it as a barometer for con uh, contrib contributions as a blade. The top level is 10, that's reserved for unstoppable powerhouses and masters of the field. Those are the blades who get written into the history book. Next up uh, are division points. Know about those? Nope. Nope. Alright. But you know about the divisions, right? The eight blade divisions uh, each serve a different important role here on Mira. Roles like expanding frontier nav, hunting uh, indigents, retrieving salvage from the white whale, and so on. As a blade performs those tasks, he or she is awarded points based on performance. Uh, those are the division uh, points I mentioned. Someone left the squad, okay? You probably know this, but to advance your blade level, you have to collect division points. The good news is that basically any work you do as a blade, well, 90 uh, points, simple, right? Claim that you will hit level 10 in no time. What the benefits of a high level are, sure. Red question marks are missions that, are, that aren't given by the cons, but also she's the person who levels up. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, fame, honor, glory, not to mention tasty bonuses. I keep the specifics a surprise though, it's more fun that way. Why not try a blade level of, uh, of 2 to start? Come back to me once you get that far, I'll have your bonus waiting. Sounds good. How far away are we? Oh, we are level 2. Wow, wait! Have you already increased your blade level? I thought so. You certainly don't put off the vibe of an amateur, that's for sure. Well, I'll still give you uh, my spiel, just in case. Whenever your blade level increases, pay me a visit. Once I've verified your status, I'm authorized to issue you a fat bonus. So let's start by getting you a gift uh, to com commemorate Congrats. reaching blade level 2. Congrats! Thanks! Holo figure projector added. A new holo figure projector is now available in the blade barracks. Okay. Have you had a look at your bonus? Uh, I'll be f uh, furnishing you with all sorts of things to deck out and customize your barracks. That's the only place on Mirror you can truly call home, after all. And now you can make it uh, just like home by tweaking the design to your liking. Uh, not the sort of thing expected uh, you expect a random to think of, is it? He doesn't. Is that the uh, scream interior designer? Truth is, a month or so ago, a petition went around and a hundred blades signed on. But I digress back to the briefing at hand. There's one additional bonus, probably one uh, you care more about than redecorating your room. I'll be increasing the level of your skills. Oh, there you go. You have three field, skill, uh, field skills in total mechanical, biological, and archaeological. I don't know if I said that right. But each is still fairly rudimentary at this point that you're ready to move beyond that. Well, I've got good news. As a part of your bonus, you can choose to improve one of your field skills. You may think it's a little cheap of us to force you to choose one at a time, but uh, believe it or not, it's for your own sake. Forcing too many advanced concepts on a blade at, uh, at once tends to confuse and overwhelm more than help. Not to mention that it is uh, misused. Someone could take that expertise, hack the computers on Blade Tower and endanger all of humanity. That's why the highest tiers of technical skill are reserved for people who have proven themselves trustworthy. Uh, those with high blade uh, levels. Alright, enough lecturing. Time for the fun part. Which skill? Okay, he said mechanical then, huh? Let's go for mechanical. Alright, your mechanical field skill is officially enhanced. That's all for uh, this round's bonus and for the briefing. As of today, you're a proper blade. Now get out there and earn those division points. I'll see you when you hit blade level 3. I'm always here. In the meantime, good luck and have fun. Cool. Higher level, so we can uh, we can also like salvage more things, I guess. Uh, France skill level up. France skill is gonna up. Tatsu evades France detailed report. Cosmos for the win, free report. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't know what's happening there. That's a... Uh, really liking this game. Oh, it's like a chat now. 
I guess it unlocked. Let's go check out the base, see what it actually did. Oh. What was that? I don't know what just happened. Let's go inside. <laughs> you just catch it in time. Yeah, that's true. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, if that helps to like get more uh, of those props and such, that would be awesome. Uh, where did that thing got placed? Not down here. Is it up in this room? Yeah. I don't know exactly what this does. Let's go to the computer and check it out. So this is just like a lot more options then or something. Uh, nope. You didn't know how leveling the skills was gonna work, but now I can tell other folks I know who play this game how it works. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I probably would have went with that anyway, considering that's like the first one, but... Uh, it's good to know that they actually have... <laughs> it's actually important. That one. Actually, what's that? Oh, there's a terminal here, right? Display figure. We have nothing to display. Random, sure. Yay! <laughs> nothing at all. What's this door? Oh, it's waiting. Yeah, I'm guessing so, too. I thought maybe, like, uh, that thing we added unlocked some more things, but I guess not. Actually, there's something I want to do. I want, I want to see what, like, all these icons on the map are. I don't know if the, uh, the menu shows that. Uh, oops. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. That looks awesome. Uh, manual. Is there like a world map thing? The other party members? Um, I think it's said where they are. Didn't pay attention now. Uh, control, starting game, saving, deleting. Exploring, maybe? Uh huh. Using the map. Oh, here we go. That's probably it. Yeah, I want to know what all these icons mean. Okay, there we go. Target display mouse. Right, no, that's not it. Uh. Wait, what's the other thing I can jump to? Segments. Control. Oh, here you go. Tyrant, treasure box, normal mission, affinity mission, resolved segment. Yeah, yeah, I have the touchpad in front of me. I just wonder what like these uh, icons on there mean. Uh huh. Okay, so treasure box. That's what it is. Okay, cool. That's all I wanted to know. Oh, I can also check now. I think. What is this? Wee. <laughs> yep, that works. I got an achievement for that. Infinity Reporter, don't need that. Okay. Um, let's actually toggle to the local map.
Okay, I can see the member on the card, uh, on the map, actually, I think. So, like, in this square... Oh, no, this is the quest, I think. I think those are the quests for this year, yeah. There's a uh, mission here. Is that inside the building? I wish I could bring up the map on the screen so people actually know what I'm talking about. When I'm saying stuff. The 69 division? Oh, I guess it is a 69 symbol. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah, it seems like uh, most people chose that according to the statistics. Oh, there's a mission down there. Uh, can I go around here? Yeah. It is like an icon all the way up there, but I I guess that's inside the building, maybe. Or oh, is this something here? No. But there's a question mark here. It's another quest. It's a, a C, right? Yes. Oh, good. I've been looking for you. Name's Kirsty. Was a K. Uh, I'm the operations manager for Frontier Nav. Nagi requested that I brief you on the whole Frontier Nav um, deal. Sound good? Oh shit. Oops. Already. Oh, All that knowledge is swimming around and <laughs> logging just because he helped Como and myself. No, I didn't mean to do that. So then, first lesson. Oh, no, I think that was the correct answer. I think it was decline that I know about it or something. The other one shows reclaimers. Yeah, that's like a statistic. I, I really had a hard time deciding which ones I want. There were like five I was interested in. Uh, there's several different types of data probes that can be installed. Okay, It's vital to you that, uh, to keep the desired application in mind, because each type of, uh, of probe yields different effects. What's more, placing the exact uh, same type of grant of data probe in the, uh, neighboring sites will amplify the effect of each probe. Oh, cool. Now, I could stand here and make you listen to a long, drawn, uh, drawn out explanation, but I think it's better to just try it out uh, each one for yourself. Mining, research, storage. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it matters to set this. Remember the data, data probes you installed out on the east gate plane? Yes. Good, I can see you uh, on Nagi's shortlist. Uh, Why you're on Nagi's shortlist. So if you ever need to verify its exact location, just access the segment map with your com device. Okay. Uh -huh. Chain together, head there, and install the data probe at each side, okay? But I don't want ju uh, just any probes installed there. You need to change them to be the same type. That's how you get the chain amplification effects. You can change the data probes by using your COM device. Just touch the corresponding site on the segmented map. If you select change probe, you can uh, take your pick from all the unused data probes you've got. Uh, you do have unused probes, right? Probably a few, maybe. Here, take a few mining probes just in case. They on me, but don't spread it, uh, go spreading tales of my generosity. The assignment is to travel to the two specified sites and install data probes there. Then make sure all three of your installed probes are set as mining probes. You figure it out, it's all much clearer in action. This is a quest you could have taken in chapter 2, which is probably why I didn't see the other people getting to the chip that you're up to. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I've, I've been doing a few things. Uh, Outside of the main quest, but yeah, not too much. I did go over there though to place props. I'm looking at my map right now. Oh, this is up there. Okay, so one of the thing has... So I can just click change probe. Uh, mining probe. Confirm change. That one is installed. 
that one's installed. And now we need to go to a different one. Which we haven't uncovered yet. So let's quick travel to the nearest one. And just walk up there. Yeah, I know. Definitely job. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It was weird because like when I click on the thing it says mineable uh, resource none. So I wasn't sure if you still get that uranium or whatever it's called. I forgot the name. What's it called? Uh, yeah, uranium. But I did get some over time, so it must have worked. Oh, we actually have a quest list down there now. Should be another side quest around this corner. Oh yeah, there's probably more. I'll, I'll, I'll be back, just wanna finish this one real quick and then teleport back to her. Mission complete, great spot. It really seems like now that we've finished like some of these quests it opened up quite a bit. Which is kinda of what I wanted. So I'm like you know, be able to just do whatever for a long time. L L plus A spammers. What's L plus A? <laughs> nice. I see what he did there. Whoa, is my camera just fell out? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Cool. So you can favorite someone's presses L and A. How do I write again? Can I just write like this? This is not a thing I can click here, I don't know what that means. So many things to figure out. Oh, this is so much better to have the camera zoomed out like this. Because uh, I always felt it was a little bit too close. Especially when like turning around corners. Error discovered. I yeah, see this one says Miranium Deposit Discovered, so... Even though it says you can't remine anything from there, I guess Miranium is always something you get. Okay, so I've reinstalled, and yeah, they're like red colored now. Talk to Christy, okay. Mining total 2625, revenue total 660. Oh. Uh, switch to. There we go. Teleporting. <laughs> if I'm just standing around, not doing anything, then I'm probably trying to do something on a mini map. <laughs> 